DJ here from Cozy RC. Today I'm at the pond with my GeForce Twin Mono. It's a beautiful afternoon, sunny. It's kind of windy, so the water is a little bit choppy. But let's try to have a good run. I'm running a 44 1.9 pitch props, two 6S 3000 milliamp lipos. I zeroed out the GPS. So let's see what kind of speeds we can get. All right, there we go. First time with the new hatch. It's a little bit choppy. Taking it, I'm taking it easy. I need to ease the throttle step by step. If I suddenly go off the throttle, the boat becomes unstable. But it definitely looks better with the hatch. Let's do some close-ups. Some flyby shots. a nice sprint. Wow, nice. This runs great. I trimmed down the stingers a little bit and I think it helped keep keeping the boat on the water. Let's do some acceleration here. Nice long sprint. Oh. Oh. 
Wow, big crash. Luckily, the boat drives the wrong side as well. Let's get it. Oh. All right. The tape blew off. So let's take the boat out and let's check it. Better. All right. There is some water in the boat, but the tape also partly came off. Let's see the speed. One hundred and eight. All right, pretty decent. It's no record, but doesn't matter. It ran pretty good. I will switch up the lipos and go for the second run. I also changed the turn fins for the bigger turn fins because I'm curious how the turning will be, how it will affect the cornering. I wanted to exchange the props also, but I didn't have the nut, so I just run with the big props. All right, there we go, second run. I definitely noticed the difference with these turn fins. They do have more drag, obviously. But man, this corner is way better. Something wrong. Boat stopped. I don't know what what's wrong, but it doesn't run anymore. I recovered the G-force. It just quit. I don't know what's the reason. Let's open it up. I see that the servo is turned. Maybe the receiver got some water. That's my suspicion. Hopefully no smoke. Removing the tape, sometimes the motor starts to turn. No signal whatsoever. No, nothing. I disconnected the lipos. I will check the issue at home, but let's check the speed. 102. Without really trying, it's not too bad. All right, we're back in the workshop with the G-Force. I just ran the boat, first run went great, the second run the boat suddenly stopped and I think I found the, the, the cause, the issue. This is the receiver, I open it up and well it's wet. So that's why I lost signal. So I will dry the receiver and then it should work again. I fully dried it and now the boat works again. So I'm happy that I found the issue, which is the receiver. I got a few comments from you guys that I should protect it with some corrosion X. And I will definitely do that this time. I learned the hard way. So thank you for the advice. I will do that and then cover it up again. Unfortunately today I couldn't really try the long turn fins. I just ran them for maybe one minute, a little bit more. And uh, the first impression is very good. The cornering definitely improved. I could notice that the straightaway speed, the top speed, was reduced. So yeah, that really shows that if you run long turn fins, which always stick into the water, it will definitely increase the drag of your boat. 
I will definitely test them more. Next time I will run them together with the golden props. Uh, the golden props are 43, 1.6. These are 44, 1.9. So the golden props should give a little bit more punch. And I think it's better for overrunning. So I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.